has been spared from this pandemic, and that includes the business process outsourcing sector. Despite economic downturn, the BPOs has been resilient as many U.S.-based companies continue to give hope and support Filipino manpower, especially for job seekers. Let's now have a short talk with Mr. Abdullah Kumar Singh, a senior vice president of the American BPO firm company YouTube. And thank you so much for joining us this morning, Mr. Kumar. So, despite of this pandemic, Mr. Kumar, why are there so many available jobs offered by those BPO company? Oh, you're most welcome. We have clients that are growing and we have actually clients that consider outsourcing here in the Philippines that never considered it before. In fact, for the month of February alone, we are actually hiring 3,000 people from agent supervisor, HR, learning specialist, quality analyst, operations manager. So there is really a lot of opportunity to our friends or to our viewers who really wants to work in a BPO industry. So, 3,000 available job as of the moment that will help a lot of Filipino who have lost their job just because of this pandemic. And I think 90 to 95 percent of your clients are U.S. based or it's all American company. Is that correct, Mr. Kumar? So, Mr. Kumar, are there any types or what are the qualities of your YouTube or your company is looking for and to service your clients? So, we are looking for are people who can really speak a better English, either comprehension or critical thinking. Plus, of course, if there are technical skills, depending on their program or clients that they will be assigned for, we're looking at least for 18 years of age, who have finished two years in college, and use. And we're actually helping as well our senior high school graduates, as long as they're 18 years old of age. So, there's a big question here for you, Mr. Abdullah. What will be the estimated amount salary? What I can really see in Europe, we're offering a very competitive salary in benefits, healthcare benefits, life insurance benefits, and educational benefits. Any specific amount? It really depends on the program that you will be assigned for. It could be around 20,000 to 30,000 pesos a month. That's a very good starting range. 20 to 30,000 a month for our, for our friends who really want to work in a BPO company? Wow! But Tell us, Kumar, where all these jobs are available. Is it database or it will be a knowledge base? No, it is. Okay. It's a combination because of what we do know, such as complex type of work, such as from boys, charts, and a back office component. So it really depends. Okay, and that is why American company like to use BPO company here in the Philippines because Filipinos are multi-talented or versatile. But I have a question for you, Mr. Kumar. Where can those jobs available or in what city or provinces in the Philippines would it be available for our friends who's looking for a job or who want to apply in a BPO company? We really have a lot of sites in the Philippines. From Manila, Cebu, Dobo, Baguio, Clark, Palawan, and many more. So there's really a lot of opportunity that they can work in a BPO industry. Oh, you're most welcome. Thank you so much for inviting me this morning. You're most welcome. Wow! 
thousands of jobs available at YouTube across the Philippines. Thank you so much for this very informative talk, Mr. Abdullah Kumar, a senior vice president of... Thank you, sir, for joining us.